that there be peace and love among all beings of the universe, that there be peace, that there be peace, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar. Welcome. <coughs> Prabhavati. Come here. Shedona. <coughs> Beloved, beloved Papaji, I feel a painful recognition when in the interview with, with? David. David. David? David, you spoke about the unworthiness of your disciples, who, when given the diamond of the freedom, don't respect and treasure it and therefore lose it in the fish market. Last year you showered <coughs> me with jewels of compassion, grace and love. And <coughs> in my st stupidity and arrogance, arrogance Traded. Traded. Hmm? I traded. Them for objects of passion and lust. That's what I spoke, speak about, no? That's what I speak about. That's the unworthiness of the people whom diamond is handed over. They are unworthy and I don't recognize the unworthiness, I go on giving. They misuse it, therefore they will suffer the consequences not only here, for millions of years. Diamond is lost, doesn't matter, you don't lose anything. But if you are unworthy, the punishment is very severe. Very severe, that's how it is described. <laughs> yeah. There's only two cases so far in the history when the disciples have been unworthy. One was unworthy and he saw his unworthiness to the teacher. And before there had been no unworthy disciple, 
Therefore, no punishment had been prescribed because if there is no crime at all, how there could be any punishment? So he imposed on him what could be the maximum punishment? Death, isn't it? Maximum punishment can be death. He says, no, everybody dies. So I have to be unworthy to the teacher. I have to find something much more on my own. So what he did, he collected sawdust, heap of sawdust he collected. And you know sawdust? Yes. It doesn't burn quickly. Slowly does it burn. And then his head out, his head out of the heap of the dust, sawdust, and he ignited the sawdust and slowly he was burning. Up to the end, he was speaking. This is the punishment which I have imposed on my own self. I had been unworthy to my teacher. And those who have studied this, this sutra, particular sutra, they have known who this man was. So this is the unworthiness I speak. But still, I don't mind. It is their business to take care of the diamond, not mine. When somebody comes, I go on giving. I don't lose anything. I don't care for their worthiness and unworthiness. It is for them to decide if, if they have to keep it, love it, honor it, they will be benefited, and that benefit cannot be assessed. That benefit cannot be assessed what is going to be. And punishment is great, you see. <coughs> Please, Master, beloved Master, help me burn through my stupidity, arrogance, and unworthiness that keep me a stranger to you, to your love even now. May I touch your feet and drink again the diamonds from your eyes. I bow to you in love and gratitude for all I have been given. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papaji, I would love to share a moment with you. Who is this Anand Samarpan? Yeah. Come here. share a moment with you. Share? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> words are kind of incomplete. Uh, hmm? Words are not... Your um, moment you speak. What is the moment? 
just the very instant. Huh? Yes, then share, share it with me. <laughs> half moment is yours, <laughs> half is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Well, yes. <laughs> what to say? I don't know. <laughs> and, you, and then you speak, my, this moment is disturbed by thought. You speak, you write next time. What In my you? meditation, I'm always, something's always coming up, some, something to do or some noise or some mosquito disturbs yeah. me and then it... My heart is broken, my mind is broken, my heart is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just breaks the silence. You know. <laughs> you speak a moment, you speak a moment, first of all. I spoke a moment. And you are going to speak, you couldn't stay in the moment because she rejects you. The moment has rejected you, therefore you went to disturbed. Therefore you are disturbed. You are rejected by the moment she doesn't want you. She doesn't like you. She has kicked at your ass. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> she has kicked at your ass. <laughs> yes. She doesn't want dirty, dirty person. It is immaculate. Truth, purity. How can you enter that place with mind? <laughs> this moment you can't enter with mind, first of all. You don't understand the meaning of moment. This moment, this kind of moment which you speak, you share with others. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. And they will share with you. This is how you are going to spend whole life, sharing this moment. This moment which I speak about is, is beyond time. And it doesn't touch any person, anything, any idea. That's what the moment means. Hmm? Can you enter it? You can't carry any load with it on your shoulders. Remove all burdens and go alone. Yes, like the shake of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can still do it. You are a good boy. <coughs> Hmm? Well, I sort of keep on trying, and the harder I try, the more difficult it becomes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stay here, keep quiet. Keep quiet and see what's happening. He has stay here for a few days. <clears throat> okay. I, have, I have to go to get a new visa and then I come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. I go get a new visa and then I come back from okay. Kathmandu. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow I am leaving. And I want to thank you very much for being here and showering, <coughs> showering all your compassion and grace on us. I will carry you home in my heart. This name.
עמוד, ריח של עמוד, ריח של עמוד. עמוד. עמוד או שדרנית? No. Where do you return to? I go to Holland and then to America. I challenge. To Seattle. Tomorrow for the way? Yeah. Thank you. Anything? Anything you have to ask before leaving? Hmm? What is it? <laughs> I would also like to enter the moment with you, to be in the moment. Be in the moment? Have you learned? Have you learned to be in the moment? Hmm? Have you got it? <laughs> I don't know. I have been in the moment and then I you got been out again. Is this enough? Mm -hmm. You have been in the moment, then it's enough. It's worthy. You are paying respect to that moment. I have been to this moment. It's quite enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. You respect that moment. Yes, I have been to that moment is enough, it will take care of you. <laughs> Keep this at least in mind, you see. I have been to such and such place, mm -hmm. is enough. You will remember it now. <laughs> then this moment will call you again, when you forget her. <laughs> again and again. Only keep thought of it. <coughs> If you have not stayed there all the time, at least keep thought of it. And if you can't keep thought of it, speak about it to your friends. I had been to such and such place. It was really very peaceful, very lovely, very beautiful. I want to return there again. That's all. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> I thought it was, it was more, it would be more. Yes, yes, it was, yes. More. <laughs> I yes. couldn't believe this is it, it's, it's so normal. Very beautiful, yes, yes, that's all the trick of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you find beauties in, in objects, in objects. And objects are not permanent, you see. No object in the world is permanent. Even mountain will not stay after some years. After a couple of million years, wherever we find mountain, there will be no mountain. Perhaps where we see mountains, there was ocean here before, even in this part of the country. So we do not know, therefore, you must love something which <laughs> doesn't disappear. So I think that is the best pursuit of a wise man, not to love anything which will pass away and will trouble you. So this is wisdom, and the rest I do not know what it is. <laughs> you will know the consequences yourself, and everybody has known it, you see. <laughs> and everybody knows it. All the beings know what you see. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
Priya, Priya Helen. Helen, I wrote this name. Ah, sit down, sit down here. Come here, sit down. <coughs> we have been here two weeks and leave in two days. Thank you, beloved Papa, for your delightful love, happiness, and never-ending abundance of love. You shower on us all. May I sit at your feet in grace and gratitude. Thank you, you, in love, Priya. Puja. You are leaving? What do you say? Puja. Puja, Puja. yeah. Puja. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Where do you go to? I go to Puna for one month. I go to Australia, New Zealand. I America. see. Who is the other one with you, too? <laughs> he is a shy <laughs> 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 oh, you are both are good then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I think when you go, you can together share with each other about this moment, about this love. It's good to share between you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you are happy. You are happy, no? Yes. Sure on that. Who is Jitendra? Receptivity hmm? to whom you question? Hmm? To the whole. Hmm? <laughs> to the whole, but to, to myself. To yourself. Then what answer do you receive? <laughs> what answer? You are asking to yourself. That means, am I totally worthy of you? That's what you mean, isn't it? Have you received me well? And have I completely, totally received you? What you, what you are? That's what you mean. No? So you ask this question to yourself. Am I completely, totally worthy of you? And what answer do you receive? What answer do you receive? You are asking to self, mind you. Hmm. Now, who is asking? Mind. 
turn your mind to the self. Turn your mind to the self and let it question the self, means its source. Hmm? Do you get the meaning at least? Turn your mind towards the self or to the source of the mind. Then question, am I worthy to enter this palace? <laughs> <laughs> What answer do you get? There is no question. Mm -hmm. There is no question of worthiness. There is no question of worthiness. No, it's question mark. <laughs> <laughs> some, some unworthiness is there. Some spot. Some spot, you see. Some impurity must be there, you see. If it is purity, it will enter right away. Purity will enter purity. Impurity will enter impurity. <coughs> there is no restriction. So if impurity goes towards purity, it is afraid, you see. <laughs> Question? Yes, yes. Yes. The king, when he wants to see another king, he will not say, may I come in? <laughs> Other king will come and receive him. Come out and receive him, you see. But both who have to be the kings, you see. <laughs> not someone else, you see. Therefore, a man who is not a king cannot meet the king so easily. He has to go through several channels, you see, through the lower staff of the police, and then this may be arranged, and the king may or may not see you. you know. Who are you, first of all? <laughs> yeah. You have to be worthy of it, you see. First, you have to be worthy, and then you will see what happens. And worthiness is just love, your earnest desire. Earnest desire to be free is worthiness, nothing else. Burning desire, that will burn all the impurities. <laughs> Anurupa. <laughs> Thank you so much for being such a loving and patient master who is available to all of us. It's a gift to be in your presence after having been here in Lucknow for a few weeks. It 
it has become easier for me to keep the dogs out of my bed bedroom. <laughs> <coughs> Whenever they are gone, I feel peaceful and content, happy to rest in myself. Thank you for your gift and grace. In gratitude and love, Anurupa. Hmm. Hmm. I think still you need a pet dog so that, <laughs> that can stay in the bed and will not trouble you. You know, many people have pet dogs. Well, at home we have a cat. Huh? At home we have a cat. You have it? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they become very friendly. Yes. Very friendly. I have got, I have, in Paris I have seen one house, they had a cat and a dog. And they were sleeping together in the same room. <laughs> and eating also the same food. So they can get, you see, they can <laughs> lose their enmity staying together, you see. Therefore, if the dog, is, after all, you need, everybody needs a dog, you see. Because it's useful to keep a dog. <laughs> it will be helpful, you see. <laughs> So make it pet, <laughs> love it, and it will be very helpful someday. <laughs> so I, I don't advise you don't keep dogs. You keep dogs also, <laughs> but pet dogs, <laughs> good dogs, and dogs that don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we leave for the West tonight. May we see you after satsang and ask you some questions of private nature. Okay, you can see us. <laughs> deal with fear and desire when confronted with choice to be made fear of imagined possible consequences arise and I find it very difficult to decide upon a course of action all the choices seem equally attractive and I want them all. During such time, it is very difficult for me to quiet the mind and keep my attention in the present. 
as what I decide will have consequences for me in the future. I would appreciate your help with this persistent problem. Hmm. For me to quiet the mind and attention in the present. This is not your desire. This is not your desire. This desire you spoken in the first line of this letter is something else which troubles you. And this desire doesn't trouble you. Desire to be in present now Fear. Fear is with someone, with some person, isn't it? Fear is from some person, not when you are alone. It must be some from some person, isn't it? So when you are fear with from some person, how can you speak of present? <coughs> And this person is past. Your relation is past. And how can you speak of present? Sometimes you may be in trouble, therefore you think of quietness and happiness. But attachment is so deep, again you return to the same person. Again you are troubled, you see. Staying with any person, you have fear and you have problems and you have fear and problem together. Staying with any person, you have problems and fear. Fear of separation, isn't it? And problems, not agreement. There are no two persons in the universe, neither in the past, nor in the present, nor in future. Where are there two persons? There is conflict. There is no two persons ever in the world which have no conflict. Maybe son and father, daughter and mother, husband and wife. Always there must be conflict. Where there are two, there is conflict and fear. You can't avoid it. This is the law of nature. And then, that's why people got troubled and exhausted. And still they are attached to it. Still they are attached to it. They do not know anything else. Their parents have been involved in this thing, neighbors, everybody, therefore there's no other way. It's not their fault. So some here, there, somewhere, rare person will overhear of this peace and love and beauty, overhear. He will smell this place where this place is. <laughs> then that lucky person finds a teacher, you see. Very few people will. And there also, he is drawn to his previous circumstances, because that taste is known to, known to him. That taste is known to him. The taste which the peace is going to give, happiness is going to give, is not known to anyone, therefore, he returns back to what is known, 
to what is known, he returns back. So what is known to you, you have to stay with it. But strong person is one who rejects everything because the kings have done it. it the kings have rejected their queens, kingdoms, treasures, ministers, elephants. <laughs> yeah. Royal elephants. <laughs> Prestige. Why did they why did they go to forest? What far? Why do they go to forest? There must be something better than the kingdom. Hmm? There's one story from the Upanishads. A king, his name Yagnavalka. Two queens. He had one Maitreyi, other Katyayani, two queens. One was senior in age, one was very junior, recently married. Just a year ago, the beauty of the universe, Miss Universe, she was. <laughs> so, the king was very fondly beloved, but he was very generous, just king. Same kind of palaces, two were living separately. Same diamonds, same jewelry, same number of elephants, everything the same. So he didn't discriminate between the senior queen and the junior queen. So one day he spoke to keep it in hand. <laughs> so one day he spoke to the queens, both together. Look, now I leave. I am around 60 now. I have spent my time, enough time. 60 years is enough time to stay in the, in the world and now I go to search something else, which is not found in the samsara. So I divide half the kingdom, half ministers, half diamonds, and I don't give chance to the junior wife, and between them there was a parity of 40 years. She 20 and the king 60 years. And the elder queen, he asked the elder queen to pick up whatever she wants. So that he may not think the queen, the king is loving the junior queen. And she is much younger than me, therefore he has asked her to pick up. First time and then second time, I will, the rest is mine now. Very nice. So. The junior queen said, isn't it when I was married to you and you told me I am the beauty of the universe? Yes, I did, my dear queen, I did. And then you also said, you love me most. Yes, I loved you most. Now you say <clears throat> that you want to leave me in search of something else. So it must be certainly more precious than me, than the kingdom, more beautiful than me. So what it could be, you are not that foolish to leave the kingdom and leave the queens and the people are very happy with you, public is very good with you, why should you leave? You are not that foolish man. So there must be something, I do not know what it is. So I will go with you. I will go with you. So you give my share to my elder sister. The king said, no, the way I am going is difficult. 
I am going to throw away my robe. Are you prepared? And wear sack, sackcloth around you. Are you prepared? Yes, my lord. I will live in a thatch hut. Are you prepared? Yes, my lord. Barefooted? Yes, my lord. Not having anything with you except one vessel. Yes, my lord. Come along, my dear. Let's go together as you <laughs> Let's go together. And they both stayed together, worked together with each other, and both were enlightened. And they found place in the books of knowledge, our Upanishads. Still we remember them. Thousands of years have passed. We can work together like this thing. So what you are speaking about? <laughs> she was a young queen. And still we remember in this satsang. I don't think I remember my let alone grandmother, even my mother, just twenty years ago she passed away. <laughs> Why I go to this this story gives me happiness and to tell you gives me happiness, you see. Why? So there is something, perhaps someone will pick something out of this story. Story is a knowledge, is a knowledge to explain in to elaborate the teaching so that everybody cannot get directly the teaching, you see. You want to be free. This is the summum bonum of the story, but you can't get it. Therefore, the stories, the rishis have made the stories so that elaborately you follow the essence, the gist of the story, you see. For everyone it is it holds good, you see. So someone said this thing and that thing I don't think, you see. And you speak of fear, you see. Fear must come from somebody else. And desire for those things which which must have given you some trouble. Every desire gives trouble to you. Every desire gives trouble, you see. Anything that you desire will give you trouble. And this is the experience of every wise man, but the foolish still do the same thing, you see. <laughs> That's the difference between foolish man and the wise man, you see. <laughs> anyway. It's difficult for me to have a quiet, quiet mind. How can you have a quiet mind? Quiet mind is when you are free from a desire. When you are free from desire, that's a quiet mind. When you have no desire, the mind is peaceful, quiet and free. This is called freedom also. <laughs> when you have no desire, you are free. So any desire you have, so you get involved with, with the same thing and you will be revolving around that thing for millions of years. That's what you see in the waking state, you dream about that in the dream also, you see. It will repeat, go on repeating, you see, unless you reject it. <laughs> But it's very few. Who is the person whom this serpent of desire has not bitten, you see? Who is that lucky man whom this serpent of desire has not bitten? <laughs> Everyone is. <laughs>
جری جری You are leaving? Leaving tomorrow. Leaving. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. How you leave? <coughs> we go by train to Delhi and then I fly to Thailand. Then to? Thailand. Okay. To go to the beach. What is this? This place? England. I buy the card in England. Eh? It's a very yeah. nice card. <laughs> you like. So, you see me before you leave? Yes. I may give you some letters okay. after such time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what are you carrying from Lucknow? Mm. A more peaceful heart and better feeling. Mm. A more peaceful heart, a quieter mind. Quiet mind, actually. Uh, not totally quiet, some sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <Baba. laughs> okay. Unfathomable, Papa Ji. For me, you are the master of love. You can't hide it. It shows in everything always. How come you hardly ever talk about it? Your happy baby. <laughs> Some people are newcomers, no? I will see everybody's there this time.